Yes, my question is that first uh, on 14th of September, first I came from Mecca. I performed two Umrah here. After that, I visited to Medina. When I came back to Medina and entered in Mecca, I not performed Umrah because it's not in my knowledge. So basically, you started your Umrah by visiting Mecca, correct? Yes. And you perform, uh, and you perform two Umrahs already in Mecca, right? Yes. And yes. then you travel to Medina. Yes, yes. Then in your itinerary, you were due to return back to Mecca, right? Yes. Okay. And you didn't perform another Umrah? No, no. Nor no. did you intend. And I'm not. Nor did you intend to perform another Umrah. Okay? No, no intention. Okay. Yes. That yes, is permissible. Right. That is permissible. The, uh, the, the, the concern is. Only if you're planning to perform Umrah, then you should not pass the Miqat without assuming the intention of Ihram. But since you're not planning to perform Umrah and it was your itinerary to return back to Mecca, you never intended to perform another Umrah, there is no problem. But the concern here is that, you know, one is given a golden opportunity to perform Umrah because if you're coming from Medina, you pass by the Hulayfa or Abiyar Ali, whether in the train or in the bus, you just say, Labbaik Allahumma Umrah. And for women, their ihram is in their regular everyday clothes. You just go do tawaf and say, and that counts as a perfect Umrah. But since you did not intend to do it, you're not blameworthy. You're perfect. Alhamdulillah.